Hey guys, it's Jason. And if you're a long time subscriber of my YouTube channel, you know I used to do weekly videos. And then I got so busy with college life and, you know, all the stuff getting ready for college, I kind of you know, nonchalantly pushed it aside and did more just, you know, random videos. And I'm trying to get back into a scheduled rating. You know, I'm trying to really improve this channel. I've been so busy, but my goal is to kind of make this improve so you guys know on certain days you're going to get certain videos that come out. And so there's kind of reliability with my channel. And so I have a really cool, interesting idea for a channel, for a playlist idea, and I'm going to swing it this episode. You guys tell me how I did in the, in the comments. Send me emails like you guys always do. I'd love the feedback because, again, this is something new. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. It's what I do almost every night when I do financial research for the cryptocurrency world uh, that for, uh, for me to know what to invest in. Um, so maybe this will kind of help you guys out. Again, I don't give financial or investment advice, but maybe I can take you along for the ride with me. So let's get started. We're going to call this, I went through like 12 different names trying to figure out what I want to call this series, but I think I came up with the greatest name, Winner of the Week. Now, you might say, Jason, Winner of the Week of what? Well, as you know, I invest in a multitude of different cryptocurrencies, and it's not just Bitcoin anymore, you know, I'm very, you know, invested in a lot, and so I do a lot of research. I did reviews on the cryptocurrency books, you know, I try to keep information on every single cryptocurrency. Well... If you're an investor with cryptocurrencies, you know that coin market cap is one of the most valuable resources you can have for a quick glimpse or glimpse. Um, not so much for in-depth research, but you can kind of see, you know, how the markets are trending. So every Sunday at 9 p.m., I'm gonna get on coin market cap. I'm gonna click on the view all currencies, and I'm gonna look at the seven-day change in yield. And the one with the highest, I'm gonna do a video on. Um, not necessarily about the coin itself. It will be detailed. But it'll be more on you know how that coin got to where it is and why it's up such a large percentage. And this is not like your normal stock market. We're talking about cryptocurrencies that can range anywhere between 100% to 3 4,000% in a week. These are not low volume coins. These are coins that have substantially grown, you know, either in the last year, month, or even maybe in the last week. So I'm pretty excited about this, you guys. I do this all the time for my own research, and I want to bring it to you guys. I want to kind of get the conversation going between investing and just the interesting aspect of all those other cryptocurrencies, over 650 plus now, that are active on the market, that are out there. And let's see, you know, are they really pumping dumps? Are they, you know, new coins coming out of the woodwork? Or are they old coins being reinvented? So let's get into it. This week's winner of the week is Limecoin X. It's abbreviated LIMX on the ticker feed. And let's get some basic information about Limecoin X because it is the winner of the week. On July 20th, which would have been a week ago, it had a market cap of 11,152 USD dollars. So $11,152. You would say, Jason, that's a pretty low volume coin. And it was. So now let's look at the value of that coin. <laughs> one coin sold for 17, 17 one hundredths of a cent. So roughly for one cent, you could get five coins. To me, that's crazy. Uh, we've seen coins that are a lot lower, but not with these substantial growth rates. So let's go now to today's current view. Um, I'm, do I'm recording this on Sunday. It'll probably air on Monday, hopefully, fingers crossed. And so J July 26th to 27th ratio, we're looking at a market cap of $90,358. Yeah. So we're going from the 11,000 range to the 90,000 range. This is a sub substantial growth and it's very intriguing. Now, one of the big things that we do is you look at the market cap, but you also look at the, the, the value of each coin. Because we have some coins uh, like um, Bitcoin, I think it's Bitcoin gold. It's one that's not really around too much nowadays, but it used to be a lot. And Bitcoin gold used to be worth like, and this is back when Bitcoin was worth like $10 a coin. Bitcoin gold was like three or $400 a coin, but they only had like very, it was like 30,000 or 10,000 coins. It was very, very little. Then we have some like Dogecoin where the per coin value is very low, almost, you know, unimaginably low, but the market cap is still very high. So on our seven day yield, what made this coin Limecoin X the winner Embrace yourself, 707.6% yield. <laughs> yeah. So for you newbies out there that maybe can't do the calculation in your head, if I had $100 on July 20th, then today I would have 
$707.60. Now I know if you're new to cryptocurrencies, you look at this and you say, they're, it's unprecedented. You know, these can't be sustainable, and normally they're not. We see these cryptocurrencies kind of, they go up, they go down, they go side to side. They really go everywhere. But you don't see, you see these yields very, very, very rarely in a real market like, or I don't want to say this is a real market, but in a market like, you know, the NASDAQ, right? Or, you know, the S&P 500. Cryptocurrencies are a brand new, you know, experimental currency or commodity, however you view them. And they're taking the social economic ways that we interact with buying products and saving money and hoarding money, if you want to call it hoarding, um, to a completely different realm. But back to LimeCoin X, because that's what this video is all about, right? When we see a yield that large, the first thing you're going to assume is it's a pump and dump coin. So I do my research, I'm looking into it, and I don't see evidence of a pump and dump. This coin is an older coin. It started in about 2014, so it has about a year and a half of age on it. But this coin is one of those coins that has been reinvented. It looks like, from my research, about April or May of 2015, we saw you know new people get into the coin, and this is not something new. We see coins happen this all the time. A lot of coins that were made back in you know 2012, 2013, even now kind of 2014, that really had no place value. They were just kind of coins that were left to die. Some new inventor, or not inventor, but investor really, comes in, and they're kind of really an inventor too, right? They're an investor, but they're an inventor and in what can be. They say, this coin has potential, and they want to make something out of that coin. And so they take this dead coin, they revamp it. And sometimes it's very successful, sometimes not so much. So, you know, I looked in some of the history. There's some aspects of it. Again, I'm not going to get into the details of the coin. This is just the market valuation of it. But you have to have some historical data to make it worthwhile. So one of the interesting things is it does contain um, dark sending. And this is kind of a feature that a lot of new coins kind of popped up in about 2014, 20, in late 20, you know, really, 20, late 2013, all of 2014, and now it's kind of fading away in 2015 because we just kind of expect it. It's one of those substitutes to what Bitcoin can provide. It's more for if you're really, really concerned about your anonymity and your privacy um, versus just going out and, you know, using, a, and I talked about this just recently in a video, uh, you know, um, legally launder, and this, this seems crazy, but legally laundering your money with others so that's untraceable. Um, now, I will say, and they did, they, they were very honest about this. They said that it was pre mined, but in, in the original state of the coin. And now they're you know, trying to revamp this coin. So they're kind of looking at where it's going to go. Um, one of the things I read in Bitcoin Talk that a lot of people were freaking out about before the price, the price, you know, kind of came secondary to what we see, the difficulty expanded greatly. And as you know, as a coin goes up in value, the difficulty goes up because more people want to mine it. But what we saw was the difficulty went up, and then, you know, maybe 12 hours later, we saw the price kind of adjust and then stay, you know, fixed to that um, increase in difficulty. So very interesting. Limecoin X is something that I've kind of looked into. I didn't do too, I, I've, I have research work on it, but from, a, from an investor standpoint, it, it's interesting. It has a lot of apps out there. It has apps for um, iPhone, Android, for the computer. It's, you know, I always check, I always talk to you guys about, you know, do they have a good website? Do they have a good PR team? Do they have a good investment team? And I, when I talk about investment, I talk about you know going out and getting companies to use the coin or find a niche uh, market for that coin. You know, you don't have to have a, a you know people for some reason think that if you're going to make a new cryptocurrency or you're going to use an old one, like and say they, they compare it to Bitcoin. And they one of the failures a lot of people do is they compare these coins to Bitcoin or or Litecoin. For instance, Litecoin. They say well it has faster transaction time than Bitcoin, and they use that as their, as their main slogan. And I, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean. It, it's interesting, right? And it provides that, oh, that's that's cool. And, it, you know, it does provide something of, um, uh, I don't know, it just, I don't know what the word is. But it's one of these things where instead, they work so hard to make this coin sound different, but yet the same. And where they could come out and say, look, it's the same algorithm base, you know what I mean? It's it's not like we changed a whole bunch of it. We changed the different, you know, characters and the different, you know, partitions in these algorithms. But Litecoin, they could say, and this is an example, they could say Litecoin or, you know, Light, or um, Limecoin X is good because we have this niche market. I know back in the day, Feathercoin, uh, the creators, and I did a video on Feathercoin, and I actually was able to talk to some of the developers. They felt that Feathercoin, you know, why it does have their, its own individual unique features, that it had a unique community behind it. 
And I love that because Feathercoin was able to, and their developers were able to say, yeah, look, we have you know, different things that provide a unique experience, but we have the community behind us. And that's why we things like, like we, we look at Litecoin or we look at you know, something like Limecoin X. If they have a unique community behind them of developers, of investors, of you know, just people that are interested in the coin, it will go far. So who knows where this coin will go? I'll be interested to see. But 707.6% yield in one week is incredible. I mean, we go from, you know, one cent will buy you five coins to it costs 1.3 cents for one coin. Will this be sustainable? We don't know. Is this a um, non really observable pump and dump? And I say that because, you know, it looks like it could be possibly a pump and dump. But a lot of times with pump and dumps, the um, information is kind of very private and you don't find out until it crashes. So I guess we'll find out next week. But I hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm kind of excited about it because I do this research already and I, you know, I do all this work and now I got to bring it to you guys. And I gotta, we got to kind of create a community involvement in the research of these coins and what's going on. There's so much that we talk about Bitcoin or Litecoin or you know Ripple, but we don't talk about all these smaller cryptocurrencies and we got to admit, they have unique niche communities. And I think one of the cool things are we, we're all embracing this cryptocurrency revolution. And so instead of being, you know, fighting between one another, we should embrace the different unique niches that each community has for the present. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, series. Enjoy your week. And I'll see you guys in this series pro- playlist next week when we see what the next winner of the week is. Thanks for watching.